Hello everybody, welcome to the Proving Grounds. And now we are going to cover an Atrix topic here. Error in program. Uh, the description here is root element is missing. Now you will encounter this on occasion. Now if you see something that says like system.xml, uh, the short version of all this is one, either a file is corrupted or portions have been deleted. And in this case, it would be an XML file. Now, our primary will be something along the way of our client config.xml. But we're going to look through here through this .NET framework error, see if we can find anything. I personally don't really see anything that's of use here, at least not for what I need. I'm just going to cut straight to the point here. I'm going to go to the file location. We're going to go into that directory. We're not going to open up the program. We are going to go straight to the config file folder. There's a couple of different XML files there. Like I said, it could be the client config.xml. That's our go-to. If we open that up, if it's empty, you know that we have a problem. Now, we also have our update config, and we also have a couple of other config files. Also, other XML files in the XML folder. So if we open up client config, we edit it, you see the information is in there. Normally for that kind of error, if I see that I still have the text, very likely this is not my problem. So I moved along the way. I'll just move that to the side, we'll close it out, we'll check out the update config, and we're going to edit here. And here is our problem. We're missing data. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the installation folder. This is a nice clean installer. The program files folder has got a mirror of the directory that we already left. And here we have a version copy of the update XML file. So we're just going to copy that, get out of that directory, and we're going to paste it here. And once we do that, we are just going to go in. And we are going to go back to the config file here, and we're going to paste it in there. That simple. We're going to replace it. it. Takes a moment. Close out of here, and then from there, we're going to open up our task manager. We want to make sure nothing else is running. And now we're going to start the program. It's going to take a moment. We're waiting for Flash Player to kick in. Okay, version 9.7 is loading. Great. We're making progress here, and from this point on, we should be able to see the software running, and there it is. It's that simple. So, when you have a root element missing, you just have to look at it this way. You need to pick uh, the XML file, if it's mentioning you have an XML issue, it could be a different file, but you have to look in those directions and see if something's missing or if it's been corrupted and then just replace it. And then you are good to go. And that is all. So we're going to just leave here. 